Hot squall everyone, Joyce Queen Snap, Tanach and Tall Way with Kamal Ko Mail, Skahomish O on an oxen squallowin. Um, good evening everybody, my name is Joyce. I come from the village of Way We Come, which is in the Skahomish Territory. So our Skahomish Territory ranges all the way from northwest Vancouver all the way up towards Pemberton. So we are very much involved in a lot of the, the proposed developments that are, are coming um, coming upon us. So I'd just like to quickly say thank you to all the organizers and um, for all you wonderful people that have, have come here to, to stand together um, and work together. Uh, so, and for the moment of silence, we did, um, a lot of our people weren't able to make it tonight for, um, due to funeral services. So uh, thank you to my relatives that, that were able to come and stand with us. Um, so, LNG, so I'm, I'll just give you guys a, a quick heads up. So I'm in my seat of sky and um, Skohomish action that I'm involved in. I'm usually kind of in the backgrounds uh, organizing things. So I'm not usually uh, one of the speakers, but uh, it's in my teachings um, not to say no. So um, I also work in the schools. Um, the, I just finished working with a bunch of grade eights in kindergarten. So I figured if I can catch their attention, uh, you guys should be a breeze, right? <laughs> <laughs> So starting with LNG um, proposed um, hearing about it, I was I was quite terrified to, to hear about it. Actually, we are um, Swayat, um, the ancestral place name of where the wood fiber LNG is. Is um, uh, as our people, my Skohomish First Nations ancestry, have been there for many years. Um, that that specific spot um, was used uh, in the valley for deer hunting, up closer in the valley also for um, for uh, mountain goat hunting and harvesting. Um, there's also a very um, traditional place of um, our puberty rites, also for when you're doing, um, preparing for spiritual work. So it was actually a very, in our traditional times, a very spiritual spiritual place for us. And so very close to, to our people in the Skohomish area. Um, so we've been been having a few battles for a long time now in our, in our territory, um, starting with um, some of the, the locations and the developments of the LNG. So, um, what's called Skowalem is um, where they're proposing to put the second pipeline. Um, I'm very fortunate to have in my family um, my uncle, who is our uh, environmental advisor. So he's a, a mentor of mine. And at uh, 1991, I think I was 10 years old. He had us out there in the front lines of the the picket signs um, protecting this, this space, which is the estuary. So we've already been battling for this space um, that's in our territory. So all of that fighting that we've done when I was younger, now I'm a mother, all that fighting will have been for what? Right? So we've already been battling. Um, also the, the house sound that was mentioned. Um, as I mentioned, we're, we're a canoe traveling people. We travel by canoe. Uh, coming from our different territories, we're nomadic. So coming from our village in Hamaltosin, which is in North Vancouver, coming up to our villages in Wewekam, Stotmas, um, Chiakamish, we were, waterway was very important to us. And that's start, something that's just starting to come back into our communities. We're starting to have our youth out there racing in the canoes, some of our, our family here, um, um, going on tribal journeys this year up to Bella Bella. So the, bringing these practices and these old traditions and customs back to our, to our starting with our young ones, I'm going to take my daughter, she's three years old. And I'd hate to see for something like that be discouraged from all these big tankers that are sitting in our house sound or up the coast in the inlet um, for, for our traditional practices that are, are just starting to come back into our community. So it's a bit of a scary time um, for us. We've also, like a few people mentioned, I've heard, um, it's not our only, our only struggle we've got going on in our community. We've got a number of things going on, right? We've got aggregate, proposed aggregate line. We've got the LNG, we've got the waste incineration, we've got uh, clear-cut logging, we've got two different kind of residential developments going on. It's a lot and we're feeling a little bit bombarded right now um, with all these different developments when we're just starting to replenish all of our wildlife, all of our traditions and customs back. Just starting to get all these things back and they're bombarding us with all these different different post developments. So feeling a little bit overwhelmed, but um, it gives me hope to see all these all these faces in here and all these wonderful people that are, I've met at different um, different events, different trainings, um, different um, documentaries. So it gives me a little bit hope to, to know 
that we'll all, all stand together in this fight and, and work together um, to, help, to help protect our, as my, my Chesha said, our, our sacred Mother Earth, especially for, for our future generations. Um, so um, anything I can do to help, I'm here. Like I said, I'm not usually a speaker, so I'll, I'll probably keep it brief. Those are just some of the things that we've got going in our community, which is certainly a lot. Um, and I'd like to thank all of um, my fellow Masi Deskai and Skokom Shafshin that are here to, to support us and all of you other people that are here. Um, like I said, time for action, time to collaborate and um, start working together to, to um, protect what's, what's rightfully ours right, for our kids. Thank <laughs> you.